The protractor measures angles and is similar to the tape measure tool in that it creates construction edges. Let's look at some examples of using the protractor. To measure an angle, first click on the origin to anchor the tool, pull away to define the point to measure from, then pull to the point you want to measure. You can see the values in the measurements box. You can click to finish and create a construction edge or hit the escape key to cancel the tool. Remember, three clicks, one, two, and three. If you are creating construction edges at an exact angle, remember you can always type in a value. To create a dashed edge at exactly 27 degrees from this edge, measure from the edge up, type 27, and press the Enter key. To measure in any direction or orientation, the protractor will align itself to any surface it touches. You can also lock any alignment by using the Shift key. You can see that this corner has three surfaces meeting at an endpoint so the protractor tends to jump around in alignment. Move away from the corner to another surface with the correct alignment, hold the Shift key down, then move the tool back. You can see that the protractor is locked in the alignment you picked. Release the Shift key if you want to unlock the protractor and lock in a different alignment. The protractor is very useful for creating roof slopes. Here we have a simple house massing but would like to pull the roof up to an exact slope. Use the protractor to create a construction edge for reference. To specify an exact slope, use this method. Say we need this roof at an 8 and 12 slope. Type 8, colon, and 12, and press the Enter key. Now move the slope up to meet the construction edge. You would type 6, colon, 12 for a 6 and 12 slope, and so forth, 